Greetings, salutations. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby. Hi. Hey. Oh my God. Welcome. If you're new here, hi. And if you're not new here, you're not yet subscribed, you need to subscribe right now. Okay. No, 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 right now. Okay. If you're coming here consistently, you're obviously interested in me. So just subscribe so you can always be in the know and always see what I got going on. If you're not following my socials, my TikTok and my Instagram are down below. I apologize for the mess in the background. Um, I'm about to go to school, but I was like, I really need to film a video this week. You know, I'm trying to do two videos a week. Um, I was like, okay, well, I'll just do like a, my little makeup routine for flawless, glowy skin. So this is my makeup case. I got it from Amazon. I'll put a link of it below. I don't have a mirror, so I'm going to be using like this, um, I'm going to be using this, it's a little dirty, but it's okay, as like the mirror. Anyways, okay, so I got to go wet these, I <laughs> forgot, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, I've returned so yes I don't like I'm not gonna say I don't like I'm just not it's just not my cup of tea because I'm not really good well I'm not saying good I've gotten a lot better <laughs> I've gotten a lot better with makeup and I found a routine that works for me I prefer to have a natural everyday look I'm not really into the whole 20,000 step routine if you are hey good for you if you're looking for an everyday makeup routine stay for this video if you're a black woman black girl looking for an everyday simple routine you can watch this video if you're not that good at makeup and you just need a beginner friendly routine anyway here this video because I'm the same way okay let's start with not foundation because I don't wear foundation I find it's like heavy well i know there's like light coverage foundation and all that but who got fucking time for all that like come on bro and plus i feel like when i wear foundation it kind of breaks me out afterwards so i just prefer not to wear that y'all like my hair i like it foundation it ain't here but if you want to get a light coverage foundation go ahead that's on you so i have the blurring skin tint fenty by fenty beauty this is the shade 20. This is the Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I do like this, it's really good, but um, I don't wear it every day. If you're looking for a, an affordable mid-range, well, I think this is kind of mid-range for some people, but if you're looking for like affordable mid-range, good skin tint quality wise, get the Fenty Blurring Ease Drop Skin Tint. It is good and she has like buku different shades like for everybody, so. Go ahead and get that. We won't be using her today, okay? But this is like a good suggestion if you do want that extra coverage. What I use every day, this is gonna be your best friend, concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And this stuff is so good, like it blends so well. Oh my God. And also you want a lifted effect look. Like don't drag it down. Like. I, you don't need a lot of concealer. You really don't. <laughs> Them people who be doing the damn triangles and little shading it in like it's a coloring book. You don't need to do all that. Unless you have really bad eye bags and I, I can understand. But if like most of y'all don't and y'all be kicking on that fucking concealer. You don't need to do that. I like to put some right there. Cause I do have like a little hyper pigmentation around my upper lip. Um, yeah, so that's concealer. A really good um the decision making point get the concealer that goes with your undertone okay like I, i'm gonna get to it but if that was already like a fun fact anyway i wasn't always aware of that okay, so i used to use a beauty blender to blend out the concealer but i've been using a brush and i think it works a lot better actually and also what i've been doing is getting my setting spray this is the rare beauty optimist setting spray i highly recommend it i've been spraying i make sure it's not wet but i feel that it goes on seamlessly a little more seamless 
Brock. And I probably will go in with the beauty blender anyway, because I did kind of put it like a little too much. So yeah, because you kind of see that line, but it's fine. And make sure when you're blending, you go up. You, sorry, you go up. You want to have like a lifted look to your face. You don't want to blend down. You're going to look old. We don't want to do that, okay? We don't want to do that. Okay, so next I like to go in with my, well, let me do this first. Eyebrow gel. This is the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. Um, I don't feel that it works. <laughs> like to me, the hair is supposed to dry. Yeah, it dries, but it still moves. Like I'm not saying it needs to be hard, but it's gel. Gel is supposed to stick it down. It's not supposed to move and it still does with this. So I wouldn't recommend this product. I personally wouldn't purchase this again. Sorry, NYX, it's nothing against you. But um, yeah, eyebrow gel, just put that on. This is the Morphe setting powder in Banana Rich. You see how it's like a golden yellow? Yes, this is like the best powder I've ever used. It goes with like undertone. I don't know if these are common facts or what, but another tip is with setting powder as well, get you one that matches your undertone. I feel that's like the best thing I've done. <laughs> Cause it blends so seamlessly. It's like, come on, bro. So we want to set that concealer. Um, I get the tiny little beauty blender I got. I just dab. I don't use a lot. I don't bake anymore. I did used to bake in past videos, but we don't do her anymore. She's old. You don't want too much powder. I'm not gonna put any right here because it's gonna look like I just ate powder donuts. And you just blend it out. I mean, simple, easy, lemon squeezy. Okay, so we did the powder. All right, next we're gonna go in with our blush and highlighter. If you want glowy, skin-like, everyday makeup, then you need to invest in good liquid blushes and liquid highlighters. I feel like powder, I'm not a makeup guru, but I just feel like powder, it just looks cake. I don't like the look of powder on my face. Rare Beauties by Selena Gomez. Her blushes and highlighters are bomb. We're gonna start with her blush. So I don't know which ones I wanna use yet. <laughs> this is the shade Encourage. It's like a mauve pink. And this is the shade Joy. It's kind of like a reddish, more of an orangey color. Which one should I use? I don't know what kind of look I was going for today, to be honest. Do I want a pink look or an orangey look? A little goes a long way and it's easy to overdo it with liquid blush so i just like to do a dab first and then see where i'm at and add more and i just blend with the beauty blender and i just stick with the rare beauty like she's my everyday go-to makeup look and i do put some on my nose as well oh and i know people like to use powder to set their blushes and highlighters i don't do that i don't fucking do that shit okay you don't need to do all that a lot of y'all just be coming up with shit <laughs> if you're going for a certain look then yeah of course you need to do like a lot of layers and stuff but as far as oh you need to put your setting powder on your highlighter and blush to set the makeup so i won't move that's what the fucking setting spray is for they just want y'all to buy 10,000 different products and we don't need to be doing that unless you're like a beauty guru or a makeup artist or something. Um, I like to put some on my nose and on my cheeks and you gotta be quick with this highlighter because it does dry fast. And when it dries, it's kind of hard to move around. You can also do this like with your fingers too, but if you don't want to get makeup on your hands, then you don't need to do that, whatever. I could've did it like a little more up, but it's fine.
Okay, y'all, I got like 10 more minutes left before I need to leave. Okay, so what's next? What do I do next? Is that it? I don't do eyeshadow. I don't mess with it. It's just not my thing. Every time I try to do a cute eyeshadow look, it never comes out right. But we're not gonna do our shadow today because I'm not dealing with it. I think that's it, y'all. Because I I think next I do my lips. Damn, that was quick. Okay. So I do have a lip liner, but do I want to use lip liner today? Oh, so NYX's lip liners are really good as well. Very affordable. They're like $8 a piece. I don't know. They vary with which one you get, but I, I recommend getting one in a neutral tone i feel like brown lip liners are great for everyday neutral looks and also get like a pink as well don't be scared to venture out with different colors and shades on yourself well we're gonna stick with a neutral color today everyday look because not everybody wants to wear hot pink lip gloss to work or school okay so this is the nyx professional makeup lip pencil in the color new truffle i thought i had a brown a darker brown yeah it's right here okay i'm gonna use the darker brown i kind of like this one better this one's a more of a like a pinkish so i'm gonna use the brown one i gotta be careful because i don't know if it's because i have bad handwriting i'm not good at drawing and shit so i'm not good at this either so i gotta go slow okay so skip over if you're not if you don't want to watch Fenty lip glosses are bomb, okay, bomb. This is the Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm in the color Latte Lips. It's like a light chocolate, milk chocolate brown. I don't know how to explain it, but let me see if it's Mmm. Okay, we're not done yet. We have one more step. Well, two more, actually. The Optimus Setting Spray is so good, y'all. It gives your skin that dewy look. And I think it's supposed to. I don't always an Optimus. Mm, yes, we are. So we did that. Make sure to take y'all's lip glosses with y'all to touch up. And your lip liner if you want to, but I'm not going to take a lip liner. Last step, mascara. This is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara affordable at Ulta Walmart go get it best mascara ever you don't need to spend fucking twenty thousand dollars on a mascara now if you want to you can that's on you you, you can do what you want but like y'all really don't need to break the bank don't let these influencers coax y'all into purchasing expensive as products that work the same and are literally are the same ingredients as like NYX or ELF or fucking essence like come on, bro. there's other alternatives out there some people do prefer to invest in their makeup and that's perfectly fine but don't don't have to like don't let these people make you feel like you have to buy the next best expensive product okay all right it's a very easy routine to do great for on the go great if you don't like heavy makeup great if you're you just prefer natural makeup anyway so this is the clean girl, my version of the clean girl makeup routine, black girl friendly, like everybody friendly if you're asking me, but I don't really see a lot of black women doing this and it looks just as good and they're not getting near as much views as the other people that are doing it. More black girls, y'all need to participate in this little trend, okay? If you haven't watched my previous video, please do. And um, if you're not following my socials, my TikTok and my Instagram are down below. And thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah.